it is 5.45 on November 15th, and it is the for first morning we're waking up with our little baby. So, um, yeah, the first time I've touched base with you guys since the birth, so it's been just a whirlwind. We're obviously very overjoyed, quite a bit sleepy. I'm really sleepy right now. <laughs> trying to keep my eyes open for this um but everything yesterday was definitely um more than I could have asked for or hoped for not that it was easy by any means but it was I couldn't have asked for a better experience To your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high. But I doing great sleeping eating pooping <laughs> looking around uh, we're very much in love I nursed uh, about an hour ago and and then he's been up and alert for about an hour he is so perfect so cute okay let me show you guys Who wouldn't, you who wouldn't like this cute little burrito sleeping on you? Cute little burrito? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling tired, just like you are. Not as tired as she is, but um, just really happy. Really excited. Yeah. Hi. Another big part about giving birth is not just the baby snuggles and sleepless nights, but for the birthing person, there's a, quite a lot of recovery just in terms of your body basically went through like a marathon. As wonderful as my experience was, the recovery is, is probably going to be um, just something to get used to. It's just going to take some time. I'm really grateful that I didn't have to have a surgery or something like that because I just can't imagine trying to take care of a newborn with like recovering from surgery. And I cannot imagine doing this by myself. Like if Chris wasn't here, I didn't have a support person. Chris was able to be here the whole time. He didn't ever have to leave my side. Um, and his mom actually can come visit today. So that's pretty, pretty nice, especially since the cases are rising everywhere and things are probably gonna change. Okay, I'll show you the little man again because you really don't want to see me, do you? Taking photos or video? Video. Hey, baby. Nice and alert. Who's gonna have? Mmm, it's over there. What's over there? Like creepy fingerprints on the ceiling. That's huh? something. Oh, it looks like blood. I know. Hey, mister. <laughs> so alert. What do you think? He's got a thick head of hair. Let's show them a little bit. <laughs> it's so thick and so curly and Super so curly. cute. Looks very familiar. What do you mean? Like my hair. Your hair was like that? I, th I think so. I think if my mom look at that newborn picture that my mom showed me. That's how my hair looked. Ugh. I 
Anywho, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. We're going to snuggle up with Kai until he, um, until he falls asleep. Then we'll probably put him in the, like, the, they call it a crib, but it's basically like this glass bassinet. Kind of. bassinet. It's kind of weird. I wish they had one that could lower down to me so I could pick him up and put him in it, but it, like, I can't reach it from bed, so I'd have to get up every time which is a pain. So I'm, I'm glad we have a bassinet at home that I can reach from bed. So anywho, we'll put them in there and we'll probably take a little nap at some point. So I'll touch, I'll touch base with you guys in a little bit. I just took my first shower as you can see my hair it's not been brushed yet or anything like that um, I am going to put a little bit of makeup on just like some foundation and chapstick and then I'm going to put little man in a little outfit and get a picture of him so I can share share the announcement with all of you on Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, um, you may not have seen it, the announcement, which would have come probably weeks before this video. But um, head on over to the ins our Instagram page. It's um, Sunshine Farm NY, and you can kind of see the updates that I post of Malachi, because I'll be posting there a lot more than, than on YouTube. Chris is just about to get out of the shower, and then in about an hour, he is swapping with his mom for just a couple hours so she can meet the baby. Um, with COVID, we're allowed our support person the whole time. Um, I was allowed a doula. And then on top of my support person. And then in postpartum, you can have an, ex an extra visitor, but the visitor and your support person can't be in the room at the same time. So when his mom comes in, he has to step out, which is a bummer, but... It's better than, better than nothing. And we decided we're gonna stay an extra night. We could have left tonight, technically, within 24 hours, but I don't know, it's nice to have help if we need it, and um, especially with like breastfeeding and all of that. So far, it's going really well. I'm very, I'm very happy with that, because I know it's not an easy thing for all babies to figure out, but he's doing great. He has a great latch. What are you doing over there, mister? Do you let mom and dad take showers? <laughs> oh, he is just beautiful. <laughs> I know, he's perfect. We're obsessed with him. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I didn't think we'd react this way. Look at his little hair. <laughs> it's so curly oh. and dark. Oh my god, he's got like his daddy's hair was a start. Yeah. Are we calling him Kai or Malachi? I'm both. Okay. Sorry. Hey, baby. Oh, my God, he's beautiful. Oh, he is perfect. He's got your little round head, though, because Christopher he had a much bigger head. He has my round head, for sure. Oh. <laughs> and I think you've got Chris's hair. Yeah, for sure. You should see his back. He's got hair on his back. <laughs> yeah, you a little monkey. <laughs> and he's, I don't remember um, if Christopher had hair on his back. If you look at his eyelashes, I think we both had long eyelashes, but uh -huh. I had, like, really long eyelashes uh -huh. when I was born. He definitely has that. Does he? I can't even see. Yeah, they're... They're super long. Oh, oh, pumpkin. He's adorable. He's Couldn't really tell in those pictures, you know. Yeah, you can't. Well, and he's changed so much. Yeah, he was in swollen like, too, you know. Yeah. Oh my God, he looks like you. I see both of you in him. Yeah, I think we both think he, right as of now, looks a little bit more like me, but uh -huh. um, it's so early. We are separate ways as we fade into gray. gray.
but it's super cute. I'm gonna put his little hat on. Try to adjust it, and he's like, he resists it. He's like, no, that's, that's where I want that middle finger. <laughs> so, we officially made it to 24 hours with our baby. And 24 hours ago, I was probably getting stitched up. Yeah, definitely. That was not up. fun. So, you saw a, the clip where Chris's mom. AKA Kai's grandma came and met um, met him for the first time. She th she's like, I didn't think I was gonna cry. Um, we totally knew she was gonna cry, but she is in love with this little man. I mean, it's kind of hard not to be. He's so precious, and of course, when it's your child or your grandchild, it's going to be extra emotional, and you're going to be extra obsessed. So. We took his photos, which you saw, um, his announcement photos. I'll post it in here, but I shared that over on Instagram. And now we're probably, I mean, Chris is watching the Buffalo Bills game here at the hospital. We'll probably, I'll probably feed him, maybe try to take a little bit of a nap. Um, little guy has to get blood work. Just get all his newborn screening stuff done. And we'll have another night at the hospital, and then we'll go home. So I'll show you guys um, getting ready to pack up and all of that stuff, um, which is kind of crazy that we're going to be going home soon. Yeah. It's just crazy that this whole hospital experience is almost over. I mean, it's not almost over. We still have, like, probably a day or so. By the time we get discharged tomorrow, it'll probably, yeah, be, it'll probably be, like, almost lunchtime, I'm guessing. Probably 24 hours more, but... But still, for so long, it was like we thought about the hospital and like being in the hospital with our baby and all this stuff. And that's, that's where we are. <laughs> Little guy. Probably can't even see him. Smushed over here. Waving. You waving? He's waving. Hello, friends. <laughs> He's so cute. He's got his little bear hat on. hand. It's just chilling. So, oh, there's a little, the little reflex. Okay, mister, we're gonna get you ready to go. 